guys I wanted to make um, this is one last video just in case for y'all even the information you research you have to be discerning about it and I say that because um, there are lies built on lies so there were many times in the past where I came up with what I believe to be truth and it turned out that there was a twist even in that truth only to find more twists and upon twists upon twists it was driving me insane so much so that I was praying to God at the time it was just God um, and I was asking him for the truth and he gave me a dream and in that dream <laughs> He showed me a big blue ship, which I could only call an ark in the middle of an ocean, that went into underwater, okay, was literally uh, just underwater creating waves on the top. And I'm following this thing, and it turned into an eagle, and it was covered by white clouds, and it was flying in the air, and I chased after it, and I knew that that's what I wanted, was the truth. Fast forward a couple of years and that truth happened to be Jesus Christ, okay? <laughs> you know? So, just understand that finding truth is very difficult. As long as you lean towards God and Jesus Christ, you will find that truth. And you will know the truth. But it requires a lot of blind faith and a lot of obedience. Don't trust the information even that you see from other people because people are unfortunately fools. Human beings can easily be fooled. And the lies upon lies have been built so deeply that finding the truth is incredibly difficult. Okay. Um, what's going on right now is there's a lot of truth but there's a lot of lies mixed in. It, the focus that I have when it comes to discernment is this. Okay, who's shaking hands with who? How long have they been in partnership? Are these people really truly enemies? You know, for example, we still think it's a Russia versus everybody thing. Oh, Russia was a good guy. No, let me tell you something, man. Russia's been shaking hands with all of our evil world leaders for years. Obama, definitely the Antichrist. No doubt in my mind that he is. Uh... And he's not the only one. There's, but he's the main one. I can go in and out with all this, but God and Jesus has showed me all of these things. You know, sometimes in dreams, sometimes in visions, uh, and sometimes just from popping up YouTube or being on the internet, uh, searching for one thing, only to end up somewhere entirely different because God put it in my heart and mind to look up this website or that website or find or go to CERN's website, start looking up what they're telling you there. You know, I would look things up. And the way that I do things is I take everything as a puzzle piece and consider everything a lie. And when I consider everything a lie, I only look for a fact. When I'm looking for fact and I take even my own bias out of it, eventually the puzzle pieces come together and only the facts remain and that's when the lies fall off and you start to see the pattern of what lies look like thought I should make this video for y'all um, I don't know how many more I'll be making but uh, God put this on my heart to make sure I share this with y'all and it was due in part because of uh, some of the links I shared with you guys let me tell you something some people think they know what's really going on Unless you know what that dark world looks like, it'll be very hard to figure it out for anyone. It's even hard for the people who live in that dark world to figure out what's really going on. Because the lies are so deep, it can drive a man insane. God bless.